welcome back to Fast Freddy RC, and today I have something a little different for you. This video is technically the first video I've ever done that isn't really about radio control. But on the other hand, it 100% is about radio control. So let me take you back to the 80s when I got my first Blackfoot. My best friend at the time got a Kyosho Ultima and his brother soon after ended up getting a Tamiya Falcon. Now I remember when I saw it, my eyes kind of popped out of my head because I was shocked. Now back then you didn't necessarily as a kid get to see every kit out, out of the box built, right? So I'd built my Blackfoot and then all of a sudden when uh, <laughs> I see this Falcon, I was blown away. I remember my eyes kind of popping out. It was much larger than I was expecting as a car. It was almost the same length as my Blackfoot. But the other thing that was very noticeable was it was quick. Like it was faster than, than my Blackfoot. Um, and, you, and it was noticeable, but I love the style of it too. And it's one of those ones where I was like, oh, maybe I should have got that. Um, because it was just so cool looking. And I have to tell you, I, I definitely hope that that car uh, is re-released because there's a lot of memories attached to that car and I would love to be able to pick it up. Now let me take you, you know, let's jump forward into the future a little bit and all of a sudden I saw something and I remember getting it and I thought I'd lost it but I've managed to find it in an old box. Uh, so I got a Tamiya Falcon. But a Junior. And yes, this is definitely a junior, but it was so cool to be able to get at least something to do with a Tamiya Falcon. And this little thing still works, no problem. Um, so I'd like to take you through uh, this a little bit. I'll show it to you and we'll pop some batteries in and see it run. But I remember these uh, because you could build them up uh, still like a kit. I mean, obviously much quicker. I think you could pretty much build one of these in 10, 20 minutes and it was done. But it was so cool to find um, because it's at least I have something that's a Falcon. But again, would love to see a re-release uh, just because there's so much history with this car and I still think it looks absolutely amazing. So um, let me show you how this thing works. So as you can see, uh, even when I bought this new, I really haven't used it. I mean, you can see the tires are perfectly uh, clean. The wheels are clean. I, you know, it, it's showing its age because you can see that the stickers are starting to peel away. Um, and I don't know. I, I don't know how much I want to touch this. Um, but you can see Frantic Freddy, um, the, the driver name. Uh, but this was all painted. I don't believe I had to do anything with this. It was already done. But here's the thing. You see this back panel um, where the exhausts are. That's actually the turning point to be able to detach the top from the bottom. So if I unclip that, this is how the Falcon Junior was. And you can see that you've got this brass drive shaft um, going to the front and I think if I remember correctly and I, I'm just gonna pop yeah I can pop this off you can see how that gearing worked so it's very simple I mean there's no differential or any of that stuff it's a simple simple mechanism so you have the the little motor back in there driving a gear set that drives this shaft as well to drive the front wheels so if I snap this back on, so it's solid, we'll grab a couple of batteries. I'm pretty sure this still works. I, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Good old double A's. And then, oh, there's no front. That's interesting. Well, maybe it doesn't totally work. It was working a minute ago. Well, I'll 
take another look here. So a couple of interesting things. I'm just going to put these batteries back in. Um, and of course, there is a, you can see the metal and this on off switch moves that back and forth once this plate is in there. But you can see that the drive shaft on the right hand side is actually not running. It's just sitting there and spinning. So you can see that the rear tires are spinning, but there's nothing happening with the front and you can see it kind of uh, jumping around. So something is going on in the back of here. So I'm going to take a closer look at this just to see if we can't get the thing running properly. Um, and then we'll put it back together again. Well, I just discovered I'm probably going to need to do a bit of work on this if we want it to really run. You'll notice that that front keeps popping, the gear keeps popping out. But if I hold the, the actual drive shaft and spin it, it works. But it means that that um, gear isn't actually solid to the axle anymore. So I guess over time, um, it, something has gone wrong with it. So it's definitely a rear wheel drive uh, car at this point, but to get the four wheel drive, I'm gonna need to do some work on that gear to make it work again, um, which is okay. I, I'll, I will do that, um, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But at least we know that the car it does work, um, just doesn't have the front, uh, the front drive. It's only in the rear. But this, this is still pretty cool. I mean, you know, ultimately, I really don't see me using this much. Um, if anything, it's more of display, um, and you know, it's it's just so cool to be able to have a little Falcon. Um, but I will try and take the back off at, at one point and see if I can't get the drive shaft out. And then we'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I guess maybe it's on there by some type of glue uh, to make sure that that gear stays on the shaft. Uh, but for now, um, I just think it's so cool to, to have found it. And I will go back and take another look and try and fix it at a later date. So there you have it, the Junior Tamiya Falcon. Uh, I, I think it's just so cool. I'm so glad I've been able to find it. Uh, especially knowing that um, the car is so sought after to at least have the mini version at this point is fantastic but again Tammy if anybody out there is listening there's a lot of us that would love to see a re-release of this car and I can guarantee you I'll be one of the first to pick it up uh, <laughs> so I will leave it at that thank you so much for uh, checking this out with me and we'll see you in another video